Morning everybody, how y'all doing today? Um, I'm going to review today probably the most um, highly anticipated uh, RC buggy of 2022. Um, that is the Arlarlo AMX12. Um, I was lucky to get my hands on one of the first, um, I guess, shipments. And uh, Arlarlo also uh, gifted me the uh, gold rims. So thank you so much for that. Um, I'll definitely be using those rims. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to start the video unboxing of it right now. So basically, that's the box it came in. It's a nice cardboard box. Um, they put the label on it. So I'm not sure why it's, uh, you know, it, it, it encourages um, porch thieves, unfortunately. It's the kind of society that we live in. So hopefully, um, you know, people will get all of theirs. And I hope that, you know, that everybody will get theirs. Um, but there may be some cases. But anyway, I'm going to continue on with the unboxing. So I'm just going to take it out of the box. So basically, here's how it comes wrapped up. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off this wrap. Comes in a nice, kind of like a, I guess, a briefcase sort of thing. So I just want to show you guys. It's got a nice carbon fiber sort of imprint on it. It's got the R on it. You know, it's got, and that's part of the logo. So that's nice. It's the top. Got a little handle on it. I'm going to turn it over here. So they can, they really put the time to uh, to kind of show that it's, it, it is special. There's a little logo there on the bottom, some information, okay? And this, of course, paper sleeve. So I'm gonna carefully remove this. It's too nice to, uh, cause I mean, this is the first time I've ever received a car with this, this much detail in terms of packaging and all that. So anyways, so here's the, here's the, here's the case again. Okay. All right. So it looks like there's a zipper situation here. So here's the zipper right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Okay. You guys, it's first to see. Okay, so we have everything here and we got the buggy on the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it and I'll tell you guys what it comes with, okay? I heard it comes with a lot of extras, so I wanna go through everything in as much detail as I can. Okay, first off, we have a reminder for beginner, a little card here with the Amarillo logo on it, okay? Then we have the Arlarlo catalog. Uh, basically all of their models, little booklet, you know, you just spread everything out. Some stickers that you want to put on your wheels if you want to or whatnot. Uh, here's the pamphlet, okay. There's the back, okay. So let's put that in here. Comes with some 3M tape to stick things down for you. So that's nice that they included that. Okay, we got a really big accessory kit here, and it houses a lot of things. So we have the USB charger, uh, spare hexes, spare pinions. I guess that must be the speed pinion, I'm thinking. Um, A-arms. I'm just trying to feel everything out without actually opening it. Um, yeah, it's quite a bit of stuff here. A lot of parts parts that you would probably go through and break likely it's all here so it's nice that they've included that as well as the instruction manual inside here it's, it's a pretty decent thick booklet so i'm sure it's got um you know blow up diagrams and, and whatnot and here's a list of what's in the accessory kit right over here okay so it's all here very very easy to understand okay so Good job to Arlarlo to, to, to put the time in, in doing this. It's, it really speaks a lot for your company. Separate bag, we have the wing. Okay, of course I chose the orange and teal color. So that's, of course, they sent me the corresponding one with the, with the screws and instructions on how to install the wing, okay? Okay, then let me close this up here.
Okay, then we have the car itself. Okay, so it comes with the strap right over here. So just undo the strap. Okay. So we have the transmitter. Okay, it's a really nice transmitter. It's got this carbon fiber sort of finish all around it. Okay, I want to show you guys. It's got a little disc brake right over there. So that's a nice touch. Labeling, you got your AA batteries go on the bottom. It's got some good weight to it. There's no foam, but it's got a really good um, spring tension to it. it. It just feels like quality, you know. Um, got a little hatch over here. Taking it opens up like that. Okay. And here's your controls, as you can see. Okay. So very, very detailed controller. Um, it, it feels good in the hand too. It's got some good weight, throw on some batteries, it'll add even more weight, so that's good. And here are the rims that I mentioned. That's the rims that I won. Um, I think it was the first 100, 100 purchases, so they sent me these gold, and they are metal, as you can hear. They're not plastic, so they're beautiful, as you can see. Get close up of them. Okay. Very, very nice. Okay, and the buggy itself. This thing out of the way. Okay, so here's the buggy. Okay, minus the wing, of course. So, everything is high-end. Oil-filled shocks. Metal dog bone set up in the rear nice smooth diff um, sway bars front and rear okay as you can see carbon fiber shock tire in the back same deal in the front with the exception of the front setup is a CVD setup I'll give you a close-up of what you see here okay very nice very nice okay very impressed with it thus far. Like I said, it's the, I would say it's the most highly anticipated uh, buggy of 2012. 2022, I should say. What am I saying? Okay, so I'll take off the body clips. To show you guys what's underneath. Three clips. Two in the back and one in the front, okay? We have 2840 size sized brushless motor. I believe that is a 45 amp ESC, which is capable of 3S. I've seen some speed runs on some guys that have gotten already, so that's awesome. Separate receiver, right up here, okay? And looks like it's a six channel, so there's lots of things you can do. You can leave it, you can upgrade it if you choose to do so. I don't know why you would want to. I mean, it's already upgraded. We got our mini steering servo right in here. Okay, no need to change that. Three wire, of course. Um, got a built-in fan on the ESC, which is nice. A really nice, um, very strong brace. This brace here that runs this this second floor brace, they call it. And it is, uh, sorry, it's a 2847 size brushless motor, 3200 kV. So you can easily handle uh, 3S LiPo through this. Not sure about a 4S. I'm sure there'll be people that will try 4S and of course 6S and you know the sky's the limit, especially with a platform like this. Carbon fiber chassis. Lightweight yet extremely rigid. Um, we got hex hardware as you can see. So no fooling around with Phillips. Okay, so it's really nice. Um, you can hear that. Okay, so it's metal diffs all around. Okay, so really, really nice. And we have our motor mount here. It's also metal with the adjustable um, screws here. Okay, so yeah, this is like this is a really high end unit, and it's a good size, 112 scale. Not not too big, not too small. It's just perfect. Um, like I said, oil filled shocks. So I mean, yeah, that's basically it for this guy. I mean, the the performance will speak for itself and you guys will be very happy with this one of course i chose this one comes in a blue and black as well but if you guys have any questions about this particular rc which i know there were many 
or any of the other ones in my uh, fleet, please, guys, leave a comment below, and I'll answer any questions that you guys might have. All right? Have a good day. Ciao, guys.